This video is about how to make a 110 volt soldering station from a regular plug-in soldering iron plus some off-the-shelf parts. This is a do-it-yourself project that is inexpensive to make and requires only basic skills to build. All the parts are available from online suppliers plus a few items from a local hardware store. A 220 volt version can also be made for countries with a 220 volt main supply. The soldering iron is modified by inserting a thermocouple inside the unit near the rear opening of the heating element. The thermocouple functions as a heat sensor. It sends a voltage signal to the controller which regulates how it powers the soldering iron on and off. This is the third version for this modification. The first two versions were shown in previous videos. There were gradual improvements, but the thermocouple and power cord together were very stiff in the previous versions. In this new version, the thermocouple has been shortened and the power cord replaced with a flexible cord and one connector. This version uses a 110 volt 60 watt soldering iron. The power cord and AC plug will be replaced. This modification works best on soldering irons with a mica tube heating element. It may also be possible to work on a soldering iron with a ceramic heating element, but I haven't tried it yet. The controller is basically the same circuit as the previous version. It uses a 25 amp solid state relay or SSR coupled to a PID temperature controller. This is a 180 degree view of the chassis. In the front of the unit is the display panel and control buttons plus a socket to connect the soldering iron. The metal enclosure is vented on the sides. The rear of the unit has a receptacle for the power cord along with an on-off switch and a fuse holder. A standard IEC power cord is used to plug the unit into an AC outlet. The unit is switched on and the soldering iron begins to heat up. The top display shows the temperature of the soldering iron. 
The bottom display shows the temperature setting. The temperature setting is saved when the unit is turned off. It is set for 343 degrees Celsius. It takes a few minutes to heat up. The soldering iron temperature matches the reading on the controller. Please see the video description for more info and for links to complete details on how to build the unit.